from mastery to mystery. There comes a time on the journey of self-development when we reach a level of working from all the previously levels. It is likely that the new experiences are no less challenging than before, it's just that we see them in a different way, accomplish them with more ease and flow, and put them into new contexts and meanings. We have few words to describe this new state, mastery, is one of them. Up your game by just 2%. The difference between mediocrity and superior performance can be attributed to as little as 1 or 2 percent more in terms of more planning, more study, more application, more interest, more attention, more positivity, more effort, and more determination. Consider two professional golf players. A. Bob earns $50,000 with an average of 70.9 a round. B. Jack earns $230,000 with an average of 70.3 a round. The sight edge difference is nothing more than one missed put in every 18 holes but it is worth $180,000 in tournament winnings. The fact is, the difference between peak performers and everybody else is much smaller than everybody else thinks, Charles Garfield. Love what you do. Love for one's work is the simplest recipe for mastering one's goals. It also makes the process of self-development one of joy. Love is self-acceptable and recognition, rather than the need for acceptance and recognition by others. Lovers have no boundaries as action has. In the words of Mother Teresa, we cannot do great things on this earth. We can only do small things with great love. Love is emotional intelligence, which along with intelligence action is the route to mastery. Love is doing difficult things simply. Work is love made visible and if you cannot work with love but only with distaste, it is better that you should leave your work and sit at the gate of the temple and take arms of those who work with joy. Khalil Gibran. Become an artist. When we grow and develop, we do not simply acquire new and improved skills. We gain a depth of understanding that changes who we are and how we see life. We reach artistry. The apprentice knows the rules. The craftsman knows the rules and performs the skills, the master knows the rules, performs the skills, and sees the point. The artist knows the rules, performs the skills, sees the point and understands the deeper meaning. We can all be artists. In The Search for Meaning, Charles Handy quotes a businessman who is awestruck by the performance of a group of ordinary people, in the French circus troupe, Cirque and Wonders, why do we have to bribe our people with so much money to work as well as this? Are we missing something? Pursue excellence not perfection. The difference between perfection and excellence is that perfection is a prize, the gift of others and nearly always impossible to achieve while excellence is a standard which we can work towards each day. Perfection, completion, arriving, ending, reaching the peak, receiving the ultimate prize. Excellence, a process, a journey, a quality standard, a way of life, relationships, attitudes, personal well-being, strategies for living, giving. The surest hindrance of success is to have too high a standard of refinement in our minds or too high an opinion of the judgment of the public. He who is determined to be satisfied with anything short of perfection will never do anything to please himself or others. William Hayes at 1778-1830. Tithe. In the Middle Ages, the meaning of tithing was to hand over one-tenth a tithe of your stock to your landlord. Today, tithing means giving part of what you earn to others. Writer Anthony Robbins suggests we should give 10%, the original tenth, of our income away and not just when we are successful but also when we are starting out. Some of the ways to tithe are Investing in your family's future Investing in your own future Investing in helping others in your community Investing in those who helped you Investing in those who need your help Investing in those who are now where you once were Investing in others for no reason than what this tells you about yourself. You'll make a living from what you get, you make a life from what you give. Arthur Ashe. The Gratitude Attitude. The dictionary tells us that gratitude is the expression of gratefulness and thanks but this doesn't begin to convey its real effect. Here are an alternative of definitions. Gratitude stops you from taking your life for granted and helps you realize how many good things you have in your life. Gratitude makes others feel better. Gratitude makes you feel better. In the words of an Arabian proverb, the hand that gives the roses always keeps some of the scent. Gratitude raises your awareness of things around you. Gratitude is easy, quick and simple. Gratitude is an instant blues breaker and stress reliever. Gratitude changes your view of so-called bad things. Gratitude frees you from petty annoyances. Gratitude inspires you. 
gratitude puts your thought and feelings on a high vibration level that in turn attracts back to you more things to be grateful for. Gratitude nourishes the soul. Gratitude is like compound interest on money in the bank, the more you put in, the more you get out. Gratitude is a spiritual act because it acknowledges that the origin of all good things is a source outside ourselves. Identify yourself with your work. The ultimate awareness is when your work is no longer apart from you but a part of you. The features as the ultimate awareness are that, we feel whole, everything falls into place, layers of meaning make sense. Work is simple if not always easy. Our work is like a love affair. We are fully in the experience of our work, body, mind and soul, the way children often are. There is no more tension or effort. Doing is all that matters, not the rewards. We are what we do. Always you put more of yourself into your work, until one day, you never know exactly which day, it happens, you are your work. Pablo Picasso. The Super Sensors. Rudolf Steiner has suggested that when we develop our work to levels of greater artistry, we become conscious of experiencing on other levels not normally sensed. These are the levels of the 12 super senses, which are 1. A sense of being alive. 2. A sense of being moved. 3. A sense of balance in things. 4. A sense of warmth. 5. A sense of speech. 6. A sense of thought. 7. A sense of personality. 8. A sense of vision. 9. A sense of being in touch. 10. A sense of being in tune. 11. A sense of taste for life. 12. A sense of smelling the roses. Peak experiences. The ultimate stage of personal development of our skills is often glimpsed as a peak experience. This is when we do our work with a different feeling, confident and humble, invincible and connected, calm and at the highest level of awareness. This is how the Brazilian footballer, Pelé, arguably the world's greatest ever player, described a peak experience. I felt a strange calmness I hadn't experienced in any other games. It was of euphoria. I felt I could run all without tiring, that I could dribble through any of their team of all of them, that I could almost pass through them physically. I felt I could not be hurt. It was a very strange feeling and one I had not felt before. Perhaps, it was merely confidence but I have felt confident many times without that strange feeling of invincibility. Pele with Robert Fish, my life and the beautiful game. Celebrate and give thanks. Celebration at achieving our goals is right and proper. For hundreds of years, men and women have worked for six days and then stopped on the seventh to give thanks and celebrate. Celebration marks important milestones on the journey to our goals. Celebration marks life transitions, such as birth and beginning, ending and change. Celebration is a sacred rite and ritual. Celebration is a way of sharing goal achievement with those who have made it possible. Celebration is where work meets fun. There are two things to aim at in life. First, to get what you want and after that to enjoy it. Many achieve the first, only the wisest of mankind achieve the second. Logan Smith. Move into mystery. Psychologist Abraham Maslow describes the destination point of personal development as a spiritual one. He says, it is possible only when all our other personal and interpersonal needs are being met and operating at a high level. Others explain this state as one of wisdom. In his work on human needs, Abraham Maslow studied people who had achieved the greatest goal open to mankind, leaders of countries, industries, professions, and the arts. He found all these people had a number of attributes in common. They were inner directed people. They were creative. They appreciate the world around them with awe and wonder. Central to their lives was a set of values that Maslow called the B, of being, values, wholeness, perfection, completion, justice, aliveness, richness, simplicity, beauty, goodness, uniqueness, effortlessness, playfulness, truth, honesty, reality and self-sufficiency. Maslow summed up this list in one word, wisdom. The journey of self-development often starts with improving our skills. It then progresses to improving our relationships with people. If we continue our journey, it takes us to new awareness where we sense a new identity in which our potential is unlimited. This is the journey from mastery to mystery. Key points. 1. Love for one's work is the simplest recipe for mastering one's goals. 2. We tithe when we give something back to help others. 3. No matter who we are and what we do, we are capable of turning our work into artistry. 
4. Feeling at one with your work is a feature of the ultimate awareness. 5. When you master your work, you feel a connectedness with others. 6. There is a deeper meaning to your work when you move beyond performing the skills to a state of new awareness. For further support, at Talent and Skills Hub, you can be supported by our instructors, counselors and mentors on personal and professional development. You can book an appointment for one-to-one -one or group tutoring through our website, ts-hub.com. Reference and further reading. Ghana, E2012, Maximizing Your Potential, Be All You Can Be. Ebook Eric Garner and Bookboom.com